All right, guys. I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. I'm hoping that I'll be able to upload it, so we'll find out. Um, yeah, here's the uh, pop-up camper I got. Working on it today. Um, that's Billy. Recently uh, installed a power inverter. I'm working on the mini fridge right now, but I'll show you all the power inverter. <clears throat> Hold on real quick. Put the camera down. Okay. Let's see what I've got here. Big empty box. It's uh, basically where your third bed would be too because it's a table that goes across here. So this is what it's supposed to look like. That's what it looks like now. I don't have the cushion on there, but it's uh, empty inside. And uh, we're now just got one little regular old deep cycle marine battery. It's not charged anymore, though. I drained it because I was uh, running the inverter for like an hour and a half, on, like running microwaves and stuff. But uh, what I bought here is a 3,000 watt, 1,500 watt peak, 3,000, I mean a 3,000 watt peak, 1,500 watt running Cobra power inverter. So what I've done is I've... Uh, I've bolted it straight to the wall here. I've rigged up my vent for the battery so this way it, uh, it won't build up hydrogen gas and explode. I got it set up with the uh, outlet that will go to the outside of the camper, which I'm about to show you all that. What I've rigged up here also is a little switch that turns the vent on and off. See? It's starting to stop. Turn the little switch back on. Fan starts. And also off that switch, I've got my uh, little power meter. It's just a little like motorcycle voltmeter. Turn the switch on and off, it turns on and off too. And to power up the inverter, you just push that little button right there. You see, now the inverter's running. It says I got 12.3 volts. The battery must have climbed up some, but believe me, it's, it's pretty dead. And uh, I'll show you all the outside. And there's the mini quad. I'll make some videos of that soon. So you got your uh, cord that comes at the side of the camper. You can plug that into any power source. Here's the uh, vent and outside outlets. The uh, little vent opens that little flap right there and vents out the air. And what you can do here, you open that up, and when you want to run off inverter power, you take your plug, and you just plug it right in. I think I should have just enough power to uh, run it for a minute. Yep. So now the camper is running off inverter power. Running the box fan. Uh, might power the microwave for a, just like a few seconds to show y'all, but also got our uh, light switch. Turn the light on. Now, there's nothing in this microwave right now, so that's what I'm going to run it for a second, but let's see here. I'll put it on for uh, 10 seconds. Now, you can hear the inverters beeping like crazy, and yeah, it just killed power. Because the uh, battery's about dead. But earlier when I had the battery completely fully topped off, I was able to run the microwave for probably about 30 minutes or so. Going solid. What I'm gonna do is get a couple of golf cart batteries or maybe even make a four battery battery bank with a 412 volts. And uh, who knows, if I really wanna go all out, I might put some batteries in here too. Make a eight battery battery bank. But I'm afraid that might be too heavy for the pop-up camper. Wouldn't wanna overload it. But uh, anyway, I just got this little mini fridge. It's a uh, one of those thermoelectric ones. It isn't running right now. Yeah, you can hear that thing is beeping again. That's how low it is. It's having trouble running the fans and lights. But, uh, yeah, PZ Electric Mini Fridge. Paid 20 bucks for that. And uh, another little mini fridge right here in place of a drawer. I think it's nice and cool. Just a cheapo. And uh, also, best part is, yeah, the sink's broken because one of my friends tried to pull it out like an asshole. Um, yeah, turn on and off. It has a hand pump and my friends didn't know you had to unscrew it to turn the hand pump on. But I'll show you my water pump. It didn't originally have a water pump. It was made to where you hook up to your hose line, like a garden hose, or you would have to uh, pump it by hand. 
We saw a little electric pump here, which is pretty nice. Run the water through the sink. Drains outside. And we got our water tank right there. I think it's uh, I think it should be uh, about a six gallon, eight gallon. And there's the cord for the uh, mini fridge. We're getting ready to uh, wire it into our little uh, electrical box right there. Yeah, the inverter's really going crazy right now. The battery's getting really low. But uh, I'm gonna wire this in, and I'm gonna use this light switch. The yeah, inverter just cut off. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. All right, but yeah, we're gonna use the light switch here to uh, turn the mini fridge on and off, so I can try to conserve a little power if I have to, just by turning off the mini fridge. So if I'm not using it, might as well shut it off and not have it wired in permanently. But uh, yeah, that's Papa Camper coming along pretty good. When I first got this thing, the cables to pop up the four corners were uh, all ripped to shreds, so I had to replace those. But uh, that's pretty much it. 1974. Starcraft 6. I mean, Star Master 6. Pretty nice. Alright. That's the end of this video. Uh, wish me luck.